of show on the road this afternoon. I really appreciate everyone coming to visit today. Uh, we are here for the uh, 35th induction ceremony of the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame. I'm Michael John Jager. I'm the current president of the Wisconsin Hall of Fame. And um, you probably notice I'm about to fall off the stage, so I'll try not to, but if I do, you just you know, pick me back up and stick me back up here. Um, but uh, we, we, uh, I appreciate everyone coming out tonight. Uh, we have, a, this afternoon, we have a, a wonderful program. We have three wonderful inductees and some great family and some relative or uh, friends of the inductees who have joined us today. So some of you maybe were here last year or thought about coming last year, uh, a year ago this weekend, and the weather looked like this. Um, I kind of thought this year we were going to have a great, uh, great presentation. I could put in the slide, make a snotty remark about how great the weather is this year, and we would all have a wonderful time. And then I saw the weather forecast early this week, and I started to cry. <laughs> Luckily, it hit early enough this year that we were able to make it. So um, uh, this year, we're actually going to get the reception done, the whole thing done today. Last year, it took us until May 4th before we actually got through everything. Uh, but we did get through everything. We just had to set it aside a little bit. So again, welcome to the ceremony today. We have three wonderful inductees today. Uh, the first one is Scott Craven, and Scott's actually with us today. Where, where are you, Scott? You're sitting somewhere. There's Scott, off, hiding off in the, on the side. Uh, we also have Don Johnson, who is a long-term outdoors writer, and Erlene Schmidt, who was really a remarkable woman who was a very early uh, um, in, um, per person pushing sustainable forestry back before sustainable forestry actually was a term. We do also have in the room some past inductees. I, I wasn't sure who was going to be here today for sure. We had a rough guess with some registrations. I think Christine Thomas is here. Christine was inducted in uh, 2017. Christine, where are you? Can you stand up? Stand up and wave your keys. to the here. Is Bill Horvath here today? Bill, are you here? Okay, and he was, he was on the registration, but I didn't, I didn't see him. And I think Cliff Germain also had signed up, but I'm not sure. Has anyone seen Cliff show up today? He couldn't make it, okay. That's too bad. Um, we were hoping we'd have the class of 2014 here with us also. But, um, you know, we have some truly remarkable people who have been inducted in the past. So I do have uh, some special thanks. We have, we have a lot of people, a lot of people make an, uh, uh, an active project or a, a ceremony like this uh, uh, occur. And um, first of all, I would like to thank Wisconsin Representative uh, Katrina Shanklin. I don't know if Katrina's here yet. She will be here before too long. Uh, she's going to be giving, a, giving some uh, uh, legislative citations to the, uh, to the awardee or the inductees. Uh, also, um, I want to thank all of the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame organizational members and our board members and executive committee, and we'll point a few of those out in a little bit. Conservation Hall of Fame has been exceedingly lucky in having a wonderful partner. Uh, we are housed in the, in the Schmeekley uh, Visitor Center, and the Schmeekley Reserve and Visitor Center has been just a truly wonderful host to us. And uh, many thanks to both Jim Buchholz, the director there, and Megan Espy, who's done a lot to, to work on these programs and, and help make this happen. We also have some worker bees. Um, every organization, every event has people who do most of the, the hard work to actually pull all the little pieces together. And in particular, I want to give thanks to Lynn Passano. And Lynn has for years been the person who has taken care of getting the, the name tags made, the ribbons, the citations, things framed, all of those kind of things that you just have to do and somebody has to pay attention to that. And thank you so much, Lynn. Um, where are you? Lynn? Are you around someplace? You're hiding on us somewhere? Okay. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And a little secret about Lynn. Doesn't go out of this room. But invite her to meetings. She brings the best treats of anybody I've ever been invited to meetings. So uh, thank you, Lynn, for that, too. Um, and we have another uh, member of the Passano family, Dawn. Dawn, are you still back there? Can you stand also? Dawn is the artist that has done our class. And you're all there today, right? Is that correct? Or, are you, or, 
where, where, are you, where are you from? You're in Eau Claire, okay. So I'm glad you're able to get over here in the weather, and the plaques are gorgeous this year, so thank you very much. I do also want to introduce many of you to someone um, who has joined us just recently. Uh, back in January, uh, Sunshine Buchholz, uh, we hired her on a part-time basis to uh, help us out as an administrative assistant. And she's trying to kind of learn the ropes and uh, you know, learn how all of these pieces fit together and help us out so that someone like myself, who is the new president, doesn't have to learn how to do this. Uh, so I can actually come up here and do this kind of thing. And we still get these we get stuff put together well. She's really focused on putting the ceremony together and on helping us produce a lot of our documents this spring. Uh, she's got immense experience in graphic design, website management, and event planning. And she also has a master's degree in environmental education and interpretation from Stevens Point. Um, with that, she worked for 10 years at the Wisconsin Center for Environmental Education. And she currently does volunteer work at the Schmeekly Gift Shop. And I think the Conservation Hall of Fame is exceedingly lucky to have our paths crossed with hers this, this winter. And thank you very much, Sunshine. I appreciate it. Sometimes we'll be at the registration table. And again, if you haven't, if you haven't checked in with her, she can come get you. Okay? So. <laughs> the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame is made up primarily of 34 member organizations. And that, that is, the member organizations are our core. Um, this year, this year, I jumped ahead of myself. Sorry about that. I'll come back to that. Um, so ignore that for a minute. I cannot go on to anything else without thanking Joe Passano. And Joe stepped in about five years ago and took over as president of the Conservation Hall of Fame. Joe has been on the board for 32 years. Uh, Joe, where are you? He's in the back corner there taking pictures, doing his thing. Um, Joe, Joe he stepped in and, and for the last five some years has really been the, the driving force that kept this shop running. Um, he stepped in and, and filled up some voids and, and um, he's been wearing multiple hats and um, I would like actually to give him a certificate on behalf of the Conservation Hall of Fame. And Joe, if you come up here for a moment. So I have a framed certificate here. You all can look at it a little later, but it says Certificate of Appreciation presented to Joe Passano for his 32 years of exceptional service as a President, Executive Secretary, and Board Member, Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame on this 13th day of April, 2019. Thank you very much, Joe, for everything you have done. You got pictures? Maybe because we just took a picture, uh, and I used to be on the stage a lot the last five years. Um, when people do come up uh, to receive their awards and recognition, uh, give us some time to take some pictures because they're hard to capture later. So that's, that's the behind the scene kind of guy. <laughs> I want to just take a, a couple words because I don't expect to be on the stage very often in future years um, because Michael John and others are going to take over, take over that work, but I have three comments I want to make. First of all, I want to thank a lot of, a lot of people, but a few people in particular. Um, it's been a 50 year and 70 some year life, 50 year career and 70 some year life, and I want to highlight my family. First time ever I've gotten all four of us together. Um, some of them have already been recognized. But uh, Lynn, have you stand again? And Dawn next to her. And Forrest is our technician. Please stand, Forrest. Uh, without the, f the three of you, I could not have done what I've done in the last 
30, 50 years uh, in the field of conservation. Uh, you made it happen and I uh, want to thank you in particular. And Lynn, uh, 50 years. We celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary in about a month's time. camping for the very first time. Ellie Dancer doesn't camp very well, but she's really gravitated to the outdoor life and I far better than I move the other direction into the arts and ballet. And uh, so I'm really privileged to have two kids and a great wife to help me out. Uh, beyond that, I want to thank the board of directors and all of the uh, other people who have helped me a lot in my career. I see a, a couple of my deans at the university. It's been a phenomenal 50-year uh, career in conservation. And the Conservation Hall of Fame pulls it all together. And, and I, this is kind of a pitch for people to join the Conservation Hall of Fame. I don't think there's any other organization, maybe one or two in the whole United States that, that, that recognize and celebrate the great conservationists from our state. I realize that, our, and I think he'll go through the mission in a few minutes, but this is a unique organization and it really uh, captures the legacy of conservation in, in Wisconsin. But for a lot of us, it provides a, a home and I think a, a, an inspiration for us to do our good work. So I can encourage you to work, continue to work in that field, but also become members. Uh, this organization will not uh, continue if it doesn't have the financial support that comes through membership. So with that, turn it back to Michael John. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck to everyone, including the new board. Also, uh, we have some more thanks to give. Um, this, this organization, we have a beautiful meeting room here today. Uh, we have been using uh, Century facilities here for the last number of years. I'm not sure if we maybe going away all the way back to the very beginning. We used to be over in the main headquarters building in their, in their beautiful auditorium, but I think this works uh, as a beautiful place to have both this, this, this session and the dinner following the same location. So um, thank you very much, Century and Century World. So, WS, or, uh, Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame has 34 organizational members. Uh, again, they're, they're sort of our core group. Uh, they're our board of directors and, and really uh, take care of the day-to-day -day operations of, of the hall. This year we have two brand new uh, organizational members. The Wisconsin County Forest Association with Jane Siebert. And Jane, uh, are you still around here someplace? Jane is standing over there by the registration desk. So welcome to Jane, and also, and then Tracy Haynes from the Wisconsin Wetlands Association is also here. Tracy, you want to stand up? So, welcome to now to put them to work and make them work really hard. So your, some advance appreciation is as always as always recognized. Uh, our board of directors and it consists of 34 members. I'm not going to introduce everyone, so you know, we can get through this afternoon. But we do have uh, some officers, including myself as president. Joe, who you just met here, is our executive secretary. Um, our, our, our vice president is Donna Van Buchan, and Donna is back at the registration table, I think. Or she moved. She's moved. She's back behind at the end of the back of the room. Uh, Jerry Knuth is also at the, at the back. And Steve Levine is our treasurer for the Soil and Water Conservation Society. Uh, these folks work very hard to, to make all of this happen and to keep the organization going. In addition to our officers, we have, uh, we have an executive committee which, which uh, does some of the work uh, in lieu of the whole board. And, we, and beside the officers, we have five other um, at large members. We have Pat Durkin, and Pat's here with the camera someplace, so Pat's here in the front. And you want to stand, Pat? And we have Ed Harvey from Wisconsin Conservation Congress. Ed, are you around somewhere? Yep, you're back there. 
Um, Gina Maurice from the Midwest Renewable Energy Association, who was at the registration part at the uh, new member table in the front. She's in the back there. Uh, Mark Randall from the Wildlife Society is also standing in the back of the room. And then Tom Randall from Wisconsin Land and Water Conservation. Where are you, Tom? There's Tom. So, a uh, round of applause, too, for the... Uh, In addition to our board, which does basically the, the main work of the organization, we have kind of an independent board of governors. And the board of governors serves as the, um, oh, I guess they, they basically are the ones who funnel all of the applications. Uh, if everything goes through them, they decide which applications or nominations are the ones which um, any given year are potentially uh, to be brought forward. And so every year, the Board of Governors hands the Board of Directors a set of uh, five or six or seven or whatever uh, potential uh, candidates, and then the Board of Directors uh, works through those to actually choose who gets nominated into the Hall of Fame. So on the Board of Governors, that's, that's probably kind of pretty fun stuff. They got to read some really interesting stories from some interesting people. So we have Bill Berry, and Bill I know is here someplace. Bill, you want to stand? Uh, we have Tom Isley, and Tom is in, in the front here also taking pictures. Uh, I know Al Haney is somewhere around. Where is Al? There's Al. And George Meyer is probably off doing his Wisconsin uh, Wildlife Federation um, meeting, which is the same day here today at Stevens Point. So George couldn't make it. We also have Jane Wiley. I know Jane was here earlier. Jane, are you still there? Yep, Jane is back there. So again, a round of applause for Tom. Now the other the other members of our board of directors are listed in your program. You can you can have a look at them, and uh, I appreciate the work that every one of them is doing to, to contribute to this group. So let's talk a little bit about what is the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame. We were established in 1985, so we're 35 years old, if I do my math correctly. Um, our mission is the celebrating, advancing, and sharing Wisconsin's conservation legacy. We do that primarily by recognizing people who are leaders um, in, in the field of conservation in Wisconsin. And up to this point, with the three new members we're at today, we have now 99 inductees who are recognized for their efforts and for all the work they have done. So this is really kind of interesting. Next year, we get to induct the 100th. And um, this may be some of your real challenge for the Board of Governors. What are they going to send to the Board of Directors for possible candidates for the 100th? Are we going to have one? Are we going to have many? Are we going to have a bidding war? Are we going to have something interesting going on behind the scenes? But come back next year and find out who's the 100th. And we'll probably have 100 first, 100 second. And, and uh, this is probably something which we always, we always um, list people and have them presented um, uh, by alphabetical order. So if you're a person who has uh, that last name that starts with A or B, you have a really good chance of being the 100th, but if you're a Z or a T or something, you probably have no shot at it at all. So come back and find out what we're going to do next year. Now, we, we do try to uh, you know, advance this conservation legis or legacy in Wisconsin through various educational, historical, and scientific activities. With that, we have a, 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 a number of folks which range all over the map in terms of what they've done, when they lived, when they did their work. Um, you know, if we were going to have a quiz at the end of the day, this would be a really important slide. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure I could grade it correctly. But I know most of them. Um, but so what I do, instead of uh, focusing in on, on the general picture, is my home organization, Wisconsin Society of Ornithology, We've had eight of our past presidents are now inducted into the Conservation Hall of Fame. And I think that's really amazing for our organization. I think if we look at a lot of other organizations that are in this room and are members of the Conservation Hall of Fame, you can piece together a similar uh, collection of, of you know, very important members in your groups that are part of the Conservation Hall of Fame. And what I've done uh, is I've gone around giving presentations to nature groups and to Audubon chapters and such about these seven or eight, or seven when I started with now, around eight, and telling a story of, from the 1940s up to the present, what kind of bird conservation issues these people were working on, how the landscape was changing over that 60, 70, 80 year period of time. And it's a great avenue, a great, a great thread 
to tell the story of conservation. And if you look at all of the plaques that are sitting in, the, in, the, in Shpigley, you could pull any four or five of those out, put them together in different groups, and you could have a really wonderful conservation story that you could tell. And I hope going forward that we, we put a little more time and effort into actually telling these stories to using the, using the incredible inspiration that can come out of some of our NFTs. So again, I mentioned uh, we are housed physically in the Schmeekley Reserve. They are a wonderful, wonderful host and partner organization. If you haven't been over there, please go over there sometime. It's a really nice room. Uh, we have plaques mounted on the wall so you can see them all. Um, we also have uh, now a wonderful set of rocking chairs and bird feeders outside the windows. I spent an, over an hour this morning with my coffee sitting out there just watching all of the chunkos and the woodpeckers and the, there were turkeys and yesterday afternoon there were deer in there. It's a beautiful place to sit and just sort of kind of relax a little bit before, before getting into the work of the day. Uh, so do stop by and visit the Hall of Fame in Schmickley. Last year at the Hall of Fame, we, we, um, in, in the center there, we uh, uh, put in, put it, or brought up to, up to speed an information kiosk. So in addition to the plaques, there's now a computer terminal there, which you can go in and, and actually get a lot more information about each of the individual inductees in the past. And I really want to thank Don in particular for having spearheaded uh, getting that done, getting that up and running. That's a great addition uh, to our facility there. Uh, some other wonderful things about, about the building. This is, a, this is a cedar carving that was done. I think it's cedar, isn't it? Yeah. That was done, um, and it's just outside our, uh, the door. Um, it, it has a number of the, the inductees, past inductees, including Muir and Leopold and Fred and Fran Hammerstrom and some others, uh, but a beautiful piece of work. Uh, Schmickley does a lot of work for doing signs for nature centers, for, for refuges, and things of that sort. And this is a great example of the work that they do. So take a look at that. It's a beautiful piece of work. We have a meeting room there, so if any of you are having meetings and you want a place in the central part of the state to have everybody gather together, it's a beautiful facility to meet in. I encourage you to make use of that. We have a, there's, a, there's a museum that we share with the Visitor Center that really tries to look back at some of the history of conservation, of resource development, resource use in Wisconsin. And um, that museum has some, some wonderful artifacts and again it's worth, worth a visit when you have a few minutes. Now the Schmigley Reserve is located, let's see if I can do this. Anyhow, um, I can't do that. What I can do instead, I don't know why it's not showing. Um, Schmigley Reserve is right literally up at the top of the center of this 200 some acre uh, natural area, uh, resource area that's literally across the street from here. And if you just take a, you can actually see, uh, you actually go just above where it says Schmigley Reserve Visitor Center, that's where we are right now. So it's just across the street. Beautiful trails, um, lovely facility, and um, I would also encourage you just to stop and check it out. Maybe not today, may not be the best day to wander around there, but in a, a typical uh, early part of the year, it's, it's a gorgeous place to wander around. We also have an annual newsletter, and I think most of you, uh, did, did people pick up copies of that when they came in? Yeah, so most of you have that, take a look at that. Um, we have a website, wchf.org. Uh, please go on the website and there you'll find again more information about our past inductees. You'll find information and some further write-ups about, um, about these, uh, our past um, members of the Hall of Fame. You'll also find information about um, our member organizations and a little bit about some of the history that goes into conservation. And all of these presentations, or not all of them, but for the last few years, we have been videotaping the presentations, and the, those are, uh, I'm not sure, how, how many years do those go back, Jim? Do you know? Five Maybe five years? Okay. So you can actually go back and, and look at some of the past presentations. I would encourage you to do that if you have some time. And, as Joe mentioned earlier, uh, we do have organizational members that contribute part of our funding, but we also have affiliate members, just individuals or organizations that are not, are not actually part of our, our board. And I would strongly encourage you all as individuals to join us. Um, I think going forward, we 
we have lots of good stories to tell, we have lots more work to do, and but we need, we need the support, and i uh, give you a little plug for, for joining us, I would really appreciate your, your help and your financial